and so welcome back so we're going to look at reflection and congruence and by the end of this topic you the learner should be able to state the properties of reflection as a transformation use the properties of reflection in construction and identification of images and objects make geometrical deductions using reflection apply reflection in the cartesian plane distinguish between direct and opposite congruence and finally identify congruent triangles so we've done all this we've distinguished and applied and identified all of these from the simple and the smart mathematics revision app available on your google play store so check the description of this recorded class for a link to that video and make sure you share it with your friends so you can have some fun uh, studying with your friends so see you in our next class